This is the Vexilar FL12, a three-color flasher fish finder that will help you catch more fish. Here's Jason Durham, professional fishing guide, to show you how to use your new FL12 effectively on the ice. There's that hole from yesterday. Hey folks, I'm excited to fish today because I've got the next generation of live action sonar technology, the FL12 from Vexilar. Now I know some people say that the concept of flasher sonar technology is old fashioned. And although that concept has been around for many years, nothing has been able to display the live action display of a Vexilar. Simply put, no other sonar technology responds faster than a Vexilar. And now the stylish new FL12 is even more reason to use flasher sonar technology year round. Using the digital sonar technology developed by Vexilar in combination with our super bright high resolution LED display, the live action response time of this Vexilar unit delivers the largest and highest resolution flasher display in the world. With the flat screen display of the FL12, you're fishing with the world's most advanced three color sonar technology. The operation of the FL12 is actually one of the easiest sonar systems to master. With a Vexilar flasher, you don't have to deal with confusing and complicated menus to start fishing. With the FL12, you only have two control knobs to master, but yet you'll have amazing flexibility to use your FL12 both summer and winter. Now I'm going to walk you through the setting up of your FL12 for ice fishing. There's a separate section on this DVD that talks specifically about open water use, so you'll want to take full advantage of your FL12 for both summer and winter to make the most out of your investment. You can also learn more at www.vexilar.com. I'm ready to fish, so I tell you what, we've been looking at this hole, 30 feet of water, and I didn't see any fish down here. So I think it's time for us to move around a little bit and see if we can find some of these fish that, that might be sitting on a, a little bit different area. The nice thing about having this Vexilar with is that it's my eyes under the water. I can actually see the entire water column from top to bottom and I know right away if there's fish there. So what I'm going to do is just simply walk from hole to hole and drop my transducer in to see if there's any fish present. There's really no reason for me to even wet a line if I don't see any fish down there. Nope, none there. Now with a camera, you're only seeing a small portion of the water column, but with my Vexilar, I can actually see everything from top to bottom. Nope, still no fish there. Really would like to catch some of these nice panfish this afternoon. No, it's still not quite the right spot. Maybe this hole's gonna be the ticket. Looks like it got just a little bit shallower here, and yep, there's some fish targets down there. That's exactly what we're looking for. I think this is gonna be the spot where we're gonna get some fish. I'm just gonna put a, a little Eurolarve here on my jig. In fact, I'm even going to put two of them on here. We want to really get these fish excited about biting today. There we go. We're going to drop down. I saw that fish was at about 15 feet and I see my jig here. And it looks like I've got the gain turned up a little too high. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. We're going to drop it down right on top of those fish targets, just above them. Since a fish sees up, we want to get right on top of it. Look at that. Here come a couple more. Oh, and there we go. Little bluegill. We want to let him go. But there's plenty more down there. Look at all the fish. I'm 
Now I can't see my bait on the screen again, so I'm gonna turn up the gain slightly. You can see the fish coming up towards it. There we go. Oh, this one's a little bit better. Uh, still not exactly what we're looking for though. Now one of the nice things about this outfit that I'm using with a reel and a spinning rod is that I can easily drop my bait down through the water column, just pull the line off of my reel. I don't have to worry about it getting caught all over the ice if I was doing that hand over hand um, with one of the old fashioned types of ice fishing outfits. And the other thing is, since I'm not using a slip bobber, I don't have to worry about it freezing, but I also don't have to pull up the fish hand over hand. I can simply reel them in very easily, either keep them or let them go. There we go. And I think I'll let this one go. I tell you what, it looks like there's a lot of fish down here, but the ones we've caught have been a little bit smaller. So I'm going to reel in and I think maybe we'll have a better chance at finding some more fish in one of these other holes. And with my Vexilar, I can easily see if there's fish below me. Now before I had my Vexilar, if I was stopping in a hole, I had no idea if there was any fish down there. And that's the thing. The Vexilar tells you if there's fish there, or more importantly, if there's not, so you can move on to another area. Now it looks like I've got some targets here down near the bottom. This might be a fish sitting right off of the bottom. We'll drop down and see if maybe we can get it to bite, or if there's any other fish in the area that might come in. I see my bait going down here. I'm gonna stop it right above that target, right there. I've got as a solid green line. See if we can get that fish to move towards my bait. Here it comes. It's a solid red line, that's a good fish. See if we can get it to bite. I'm gonna move my bait up just a little bit, see if I can get it to chase it up and bite it. That fish doesn't seem interested in my bait, but you know what? We've got all these targets down here. We don't need to spend any more time on that fish. That's the great thing about this unit. I know exactly what's going on beneath me. Since that fish isn't interested, I'm sure there are some others down here that are. Oh, and there we go. Now this isn't exactly what we were looking for. We we're looking for a crappie, but you see what I'm talking about. I know which fish are ready to, to eat my bait, which ones are active, and which ones I should pass up on. Okay, we're gonna drop the bait down, and you're gonna see it here on the display shortly. There it is, right up at the top. And every time it's the same thing. I'm gonna watch my bait go down, and we're gonna go past these fish, see if there's some bigger ones sitting down underneath. And look at all the fish. These are all fish down there. Boy, there's just a pile of them. I'm sure they're all fighting to get to my bait. That's a better fish. We dropped through those smaller fish and I think we finally found the one that we're looking at. Oh yeah, there's the nice one we've been looking for. Yeah. We dropped through those smaller fish to find the bigger crappie. I tell you what, folks, without my FL-12, I never would have caught this fish. I won't go fishing without it, and you won't either.